Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make that time lots of fun. Oh, 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 hey, <laughs> today we're gonna to be talking about baptism. Baptism is God's gift to us where he takes water and adds the power and promise of his holy word so that we may receive the gift of forgiveness and new life in his name. How cool is that? In other words, in the waters of baptism, we are not only claimed by God, but we are washed anew by the... <laughs> As, as I was saying, in the waters of baptism, we are not only claimed by God, but we are washed anew each day from the power of sin. Oh, excuse me. But like this umbrella, sin is anything that separates us from God, but also from others. Now, we really don't want that, do we? We want to freely receive the gift of God's grace and the love that he seeks to pour into our lives each and every day. Yet baptism isn't simply something that happens to us, like we're baptized in the name of the Father and, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and, and then we're done. But something that flows through us as we live out this promise daily, that our words and our actions would be a reflection of the promise that God made with us and that we make to God. In fact, in our reading for today, we're going to be hearing about how Jesus was baptized. And it, it wasn't the end of his ministry. It was just the beginning. And now, now, now with that said and with that in our minds, as God pours out his love on us day after day after day after day after day, we, we are called to live out our faith so that those, let those baptism promises flow through you every day. You can stop. You can stop.